All right, I've gathered a group of misfits. We're gonna go do some ripping. We'll name the ride at some point along the way. Look at these guys. All right, look at those two bikes, a couple of 950s. Very nice. today I don't know how many kilometers over 200 I would imagine all off-road pretty much I'll show you we're gonna be in and out of the dirt we're gonna go up and over two small mountains and two big mountains all of this is mapping for the adventure bike gathering I hope you like it we're coming into the crux of the first leg of this big trip this is a solid three maybe a four at times using our big bike rating system Ian and Owen on the 950s just crashed right through this stuff, no problem. Those bikes are rowdy, and those guys are amazing riders. They're gonna be the highlight of this video for sure, as long as I can keep up enough to film them. All right. All right, we're nearing the summit of our first mountain. You can see the dust up top. That's where the guys are a little ahead of me. This mountain's called Becker. Becker Mountain, Becker Lake area. Very close to Vernon. A nice climb. Get going pretty quick. Some little cross ditches. A little bit of rock here. Nice. Should probably try this roundier road here on the side, right? Let's do it. Here we are. This is the summit. Looks like the fellows have carried on, that's all right. We're overlooking Lavington right now. I got my buddy. So on we go. There are lots of different ways down under this power line. As long as you're staying under the power line for this part, you're gonna be fine, everything will match up. All right guys, just pay attention for a sec here, just in case you're following this route. We're only on the road for just a moment. We're ducking down here. Back under the power line. This is one of the routes that we've named Salsa Shark. It's an absolute classic for the adventure bike gathering. We have all kinds of fun with the small, medium, large, and super tanker bikes on this route. We're matching it up, then we're gonna get over onto our next route called Bardolph. All right, stay tuned. All right, we're getting ready to drop in. Look, across the valley, we've got Bardolph Mountain. I'm on, uh, Salsa Shark, and here's the crux right here, this corner. When you're coming up, you gotta be full on, looking ahead, doing all the right things. She is dusty and loose today. No big surprise there. It's been 40 plus degrees here in Vernon all of last week, so every bit of moisture is gone from this ground. It will be better in September. That's why we don't have the event in July or August. It's in September, probably our best month for riding consistently from year to year. Here we are on the other side of the valley. You look straight across just to my right, you'll see a bit of the power line there. That's uh, Salsa Shark that we came down. And we're at the summit when I said we we're overlooking Lavington. You can move around so fast these bikes. It's ridiculous. And we're here. This is what we call the deep climb. Now maybe you've seen me walk up this hill before. See, these are, these are sizable. All these ledges, gotta get around those. <sighs> it's loose, it's dusty, it's crazy. All right, looks like we have Ian McKill on his KTM 950 coming up first. Man, that thing sounds good. He's a crazy good rider. Look at Cat there, Cat Boyer. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at, there's still rocks coming down. 
That thing is carbureted and he says it's just like an on off switch. Just absolutely rowdy. It's like my 1090 except better geometry for off road and a rowdier engine. Game on! Next we have Owen McKill, the young whippersnapper, also on a KTM 950, making noise. Oh my God. I'm not leaving the safety of my bush. <laughs> Did you see that? That was insane. Yeah, he's a, uh, well, they're both like Instagram superstar level, although they don't do social media that way. Yeah, they're good. Okay, next. <laughs> He's just, he was just riding the back tire. Oh, respect. Here comes Kyle Pullman. Also another very respectful rider, right up the middle. What? That was awesome, come on. Oh, well, you guys aren't gonna wanna watch me go at all. Okay, just try and do better than those guys. Here we have Neil. Whoa, nice. It's no joke, he on a dirt bike. We have one more contender, Trevor McKee. Oh, did you run out of steam? He ran out of steam in my spot. I've been there. <laughs> okay, big bird, it's you and me. It's our turn, let's go. Get her into second. Take the easy line up the side. I got my feet down. Doing the worst out of everybody. All right, I'm gonna redeem myself now. No problem. <laughs> We've got two really big mountains to go over and at least one of them is going to be pretty challenging. So save some energy, bring lots of water. I have seven liters on me today. It's hot. I plan on being well hydrated and comfortable. The great thing about carrying lots of water is the more you drink, the better you feel and the lighter your load gets. We've pulled off of the power line. We're heading down towards Lumbee now. And then on to our next mountain. Oh, you gotta watch out for those cross ditches. Wow, that was a tiny one. But abrupt. Okay, here we are. I believe this is Trinity Valley Road. Won't be on this for long. bike makes me feel funny. Well, we stopped, we had our snack pack, and now we're headed out again to our first big mountain. If you're following along in Google Maps or Gaia or something like that, trying to figure out where we are, we're in Lumbee, heading north towards Mabel Lake. We'll get to the foot of the lake, and shortly after that, we'll turn right on Taylor and start heading up the mountain. On the gravel again, it was about 20 minutes from uh, Lumbee to here. We're at the base of Mabel Lake, just to my left, and we're gonna head up into the hills to one of our favorite snow biking areas, Park Mountain. That'll be our next mountain to conquer. All right, we're leaving the Mabel Lake Road for Taylor Creek Road, Taylor Road. There's the hut where you get your day pass for snowmobiling or snow biking. Hey, let's take a minute and cut to one of my favorite clips from last winter where I encouraged Andrew to get a little bit silly. Hey, boys! Good to see you back! Why don't you come on in for a little tea and strumpets? Or maybe leaving a little pin the tail on the donkey. I'm gonna get me some strumpets. You know me, I love pin the tail on the donkey. We're getting pretty high up. That's uh, almost 1,700 meters elevation. We're near the top yet, but we're getting there. Look at this. Well, follow Ian on the 950. He's agreed to behave, not try to ditch me. Trust me, you can ride a lot faster. And if I can keep up, that'd be great. And he's gone. out of his depth. <laughs> Big trials bike. I haven't touched the ground yet. I'm pretty happy about that. Having a tough time focusing on Owen though. Sweet. What do you guys
guys thinking about this route so far? Pretty good? I think it's spectacular. Well, I'm happy about my bike choice for the day. This is not a 1090 deal for me. It's incredible that I'm following 950. been passed. Kyle the hotshot racer. He's getting impatient. <laughs> Fine old big bird. This is definitely going to impact the people who come on this trip. Huh. On this route, having seen that, you might have just pruned yourself, right? There are ways to get around this on the road. Sure you can figure it out, you savvy adventure bikers, because most of this is not that. That's a four slash five right there for difficulty. It's probably a five. I'm just thinking maybe it's a little easier because I'm on a 500, not my 1090. Wow, amazing. We have an invitational event coming up in a few weeks, maybe two weeks, called Three Mountains in Three Days. And it's uh, three real mountains like this mountain here. And almost all the riding is like this or, or more gnarly. It's uh, gonna be good. We're gonna have, we've invited 15 people. We expect seven or eight. And uh, hopefully everybody makes it through all three days. No injuries, no bikes getting busted. Nobody hits the wall and it's just pure fatigue. Should make for a few good videos though. Give some people some ideas for other places to ride out here. Okay, hey, we've had our snack. Let's scram. This is as close to the top of the mountain as we're getting. There's a good climb if you want to go to the top of this one. But we got a whole nother mountain to climb and as you see it's going to be a lot more spicy as we summit that one. There's probably a good reason there's no tracks here. So why don't we go the known way? We're gonna get screwed up if we do this. Yeah. Yeah, this is my area of concern, so. We'll go Kyle's way. pretty spectacular guys <laughs> I can't condone that sort of activity but <laughs> I'm about to do it myself I just try to be a little more gentle oh I know exactly where we are Andrew who's not here Andrew this is Quick Party right here on our left, one of our favorite little mini snow biking areas. So since we started, I'm definitely rethinking who this route is for. It's, uh, it's not easy. And I think you're gonna be forced to ride some of that, some if not all of that hard stuff. So keep that in mind. Uh, the end rating is gonna be a five or a six, only because of the, uh, the real spicy bits, but they're not long in duration, like distance. If you needed to, you could fight your way through them, but boy, it would make for a long day. I think it's going to be mostly guys on dual sports. Uh, 690s, 790s, 890s even, and uh, Tenere 700s. But you're going to have to know what you're doing, that's for sure. And if you don't know what you're doing, like me, you can ride one of these bikes. Big dirt bike with blinkers. Won't be long now before we uh, jettison off of this mountain, head towards Sugar Lake, and uh, start our next mountain. All right, see you in a few minutes. Okay, there's a critical turn that I just made. I should have filmed it. 
but uh, I don't know, it was like an 18, 19 kilometers. And uh, just a little path, this is it. Here comes a 950. Dead sexy. 450. Mystery bike. 950. 450. Sweet. You can see I've got my shock mounted iPhone in the middle of my dash. I turned it on, it gobbles my battery. Like, it's terrible. And I don't have a plug-in, I don't have a, a hot mount for it, so not yet, it's coming. And uh, I was down here earlier this year on my Jeep, so we're following where I went. It just turned off the camera and then it got awesome. There's all kinds of bedrock and chunky. By the time I had told the camera to turn back on, it was over. <laughs> You know, if you guys go out there and you have an action camera like a GoPro or an Osmo or whatever, if you record everything, it makes editing it down into something useful such a chore. My God, you have to spend way too much time. So we really try just to turn them on, say something, record something, then turn them off. Okay, here we are rounding the south end of Sugar Lake. All the water to the north of me. We're going to be heading partially up the other side and then into the mountains again. Well, we're back up nice and high, over 1,700 meters right now. We're on Sugar Mountain. The view is pretty spectacular. There's a fire that went through here a number of years ago. You'll see evidence of that. And every time I come through here, I see a moose. That's always fun. Whoa! <laughs> But being the last bike out of six means a lot of noise and the moose probably ran away. So I'm gonna try and uh, not freak out. Uh. <laughs> I already freaked out. bit of spice ahead of us here. You stay there, big bird. I think I may need a fork pull. <laughs> it's a little bit a bit spicy right here. I thought I was taking the more sensible line. Want me to pull? You drive, I pull. Oh. Thanks. I must have been pulling really hard because I made it easy for you. <laughs> I'm going to have to climb this a little better. You guys might want to walk it before you do it on those monster bikes. Well, it was dry last time I was through here. Oh. Where I'm looking forward to my lifted boots, my, my low ride seat. Oh man! I'll get it. Minor problem. There. I'm greasing it up for everybody else. Okay, it 
look ahead. Give it the big. <laughs> that was bumpy. Uh, uh, okay. All fucked my hair. Oops. Beep. I do it. I'll come back with the camera and they'll just all flash it. <sighs> Momentum. That was okay. I've exerted more calories. Give you guys a little view. Easy part. So to give you guys a frame of reference, it's about 3 p.m. I think. Started at 9. We're coming up to the crux fairly soon. Got a spicy bit, and a nice rusty bit. And then a spicy bit. <sighs> now, I don't know what you think is better, but you decide. I'm probably going to stay high. Okay. There's a lot of gaps between the rocks or the logs down there. Here comes Ian. Are you guys still keen on coming out here and riding this trail? It's a doozy. It's a long day. I think I'd start a little earlier, especially in September. What is Owen doing? Wow, what am I doing? I don't think there are any perfect lines in here. Garden. I believe we took the jeeps to the right. Looks more messed up now. Whoa! Well, I try this way. Swampy goodness. Piece of cake. 
Piece of cake! <laughs> but wait folks, there's more! A little bit of a spicy descent here. Ah, yeah. Hopefully big birds not affecting your view too much. It's somewhat affecting mine, but the camera's on my chin. So it's quite a bit lower and my eyeballs. So yeah, after that, we turn left. And now we're on the pursuit of the summit here. This is a really nice trail. We went up here in the jeeps and we went all along. And eventually we ran out of our ability to proceed because of snow. But look at this, look how great it is. We are in the mountains, folks. We're way up there. Maybe this is what the other guys were referring to as the real challenging part. Time so will tell. They certainly used their momentum to get through all that. They're gone. Momentum and skill. Honestly, I'd like to take a little break and shake up my arms as of right about now. Give my camera to Owen, he's going to take you for a ride on the 950.
what do we have here? Sorry, bike.
big berg, you did me proud. Made it to the top. Holy crap, that was awesome. I hope you guys had a good ride with Owen. He got up here a lot faster than I did on a much bigger bike. Truly incredible. So if you plan on coming on this ride, be ready for six kilometers of punishing baby headed rocks and more. But let me give you a little taste of what you get when you get here. I'm still just soaking it in myself. Let's start with the tame stuff. That's where we came up. There's no way you'll be able to see it on a GoPro. When we were going through the burn, it's right over there. There's a lake somewhere down there. There's some pretty serious looking mountains over here where the guys are standing on the edge. And then full on crazy big time super mountains over there. And another one over there. One of these is Fosthall. I think it's that one. I've been to the summit of Fosthall. I'm gonna have to look it up on the map tonight. But holy crap, you gotta get up here. It's worth it. If you got a suitably sized bike, arms of steel, buns of steel, <laughs> it's worth the effort. Start training right now. Start training right now so you can get your ass up here. Check it out. Look, you gotta go to the edge of this. It's like Pride Rock. What? Scotty. Hey, what's up? You got your squirrel suit on? <laughs> Boom, more views. How does this make you feel? Pretty awesome. Yeah, that is awesome. I feel small. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky to live where we do. Look at that. Bus only stopped for 10 minutes. <laughs> get your honey, get your pictures, let's go. I bet you guys really enjoyed that footage of Owen on the 950 coming up that super long climb. I hope it worked out. He's not used to filming. Look, it's in the snow. Okay, all you animals. Down we go. Now we gotta go down six kilometers of crazy. How about that? Six kilometers of crazy, name for the route. It's gonna be like 200, 250 kilometers total. Six of them, crazy. All right, this is where we're gonna drop on my downhill mountain biking. Pretend I'm not riding a super heavy dirt bike. Try and walk ahead. Avoid the biggest of rocks. <laughs> I know I'm supposed to stay loose, kind of. My back and arms are just right tight. <sighs> Looking ahead, I can feel my legs burning. Like, why is this so tiring? This is stressful. And the bars do fight me. I'm going side to side. Let's go with it, man. Now I can rest through here. It's not so, not so crazy. Well, these are the final steps, folks. A little bit chunky. We haven't been here. So we doubled back all that climb and now we're continuing onward. So this is all fresh. This is a relatively new logging road. It's got some really nice uh, switchbacks on it. <laughs> Ian says that fixing my rear shock will just take, not fixing, dialing it in for all the extra weight I have there will take like five minutes. 
they've offered to do it twice on the trail here and i'm like you know i'm used to this so let's not change it in the spicy trail that we're on i'll bring it into the shop and maybe get them look at everything else real quickly and then i'll uh, get used to my new tuning because right now i'm carrying my deep adventure kit the tools are heavy the water's heavy and uh that's what this bike's for. That, that's the way it's going to be kitted out. If I'm doing hard enduro, I've got a uh, Beta 300 cross trainer, a totally different style bike for that. And then of course the 1090 for making big noises and going fast. I wish I could look around. I'm just staring at the trail. What do you guys think? Put on the the big pack on the bike grab all the camping gear and take it to the top of that mountain and spend the night that would not be a solo trip that's way too dangerous just the biking up there is pretty treacherous right and then you're gonna add i don't know 20 or 30 pounds to the back make it more difficult and then camping alone nah i gotta find someone to come with me Someone a little nutty. Someone with a good bike and some riding skills. Someone who will put up with me. I think I better work on Swag. He's got all those attributes. He just doesn't know he wants to sleep in a tent. His own tent. After a day of dirt biking. Yeah, I told you, this is pretty cool. Red rock. We've run into a major snafu. Not only do we not have hand saws, we don't have giant chainsaws either. Oh, the first bike's through. Oh, look at this, somebody went over. This wasn't here a couple weeks ago. <laughs> this ball one year lead. Yeah. Watch the seat when we stand it up. Yeah, we got it. I've done this before. I don't know how to help you. Like a boss. Yep. Kyle Pullman, number 55. Showing how it's all done. On the road again. Uh oh. I don't like the look at this. It's not just one, it's everything. It's like they came in here and took down all the remaining trees. Dropped them across the road. See, this is the kind of adventure that Andrew and I usually get into. End of the day, <laughs> everything gets a little snaky. It gets so bad. This was done on purpose. This is this is some serious temporary deactivation. Can't imagine this is a windstorm. There's a bunch of trees that they're all they're all bunched up. Owen just figured out the name of the trail. What is it? You shall not pass. You shall not pass. We're gonna have to figure this out, hey? Before the adventure bike gathering. <laughs> See, I was here five minutes ago and I already forgot about this thing. Somehow I forgot about this already. Like I forgot we're gonna have to go back under this. <laughs> what a mental midget.
folks. Owen just spanked it. Rocks flying everywhere. <laughs> Here comes the end. That's why I use the jump. Long legs. That's gonna help. Snap. Yeah, out of control. There we go. There are things going on everywhere. Cows in front of me. Owen just crushed it through the mud of the 950. Trying to look way ahead. There we go. Okay. Get the bike off the swing arm there. Okay. Let this rock to go bye bye. Go bye bye. like I am on my own 100% with this one I'm just gonna be tired after that one folks Oh, a grand off. Ugh. Bikes pouring gas. No smoking. Okay. Heavier in the looks. Okay, I'm a poop now. Yep. I'll do it. Got it on camera though. I got one thing left. Here it is. Get out of the way, big bird. Wow. Okay, I'm tired now. That's it. This dirt chimp is done. Although, I just had a whole bunch of water. <laughs> I feel pretty good. I'm ready to eat dust for the next two hours. Eat my rubber! Burn dust! <laughs>